In the general info area, you select uh, or you designate the, the general info for your business that will uh, show up on the main screen and also mostly on the receipts that you print out in your business. Uh, you select or set up um, values for your uh, company name, your company's phone number, company's address, and um, the register designation. Let's say it's register one, register two, register three. And you set that up on all the registers. And of course, it doesn't have to be a number. The register designation can be any set of characters. You can even name them with alphabetical names. Uh, as long as you know they're all different and unique, so they can be differentiated in the software. Uh, then the general uh, geographical location, shortly, not just not an entire address. This is uh, to help you designate between uh, your different stores or locations if uh, you know you have different stores and locations in different geographical areas and um, in the end you have uh, three lines uh, that you can customize these are the end messages uh, on the bottom of the receipt um, and you can just write whatever you want in here we have some uh, definitely some default uh, suggestions for you in here but you can edit them however you want and in the end of course you hit submit changes for the changes take effect now in the invoice or receipt setup uh, settings window you can uh, select different things that will impact how your receipt will look like uh, things like the font you can totally change the, the font that you're using to whatever font you want of course, they has to be uh, the font has to be available on your computer, and that printer of yours has to be capable of printing that font. Change the font size, of course, and then uh, you can select uh, to include a bunch of things in the receipt or to exclude them from the receipt by simply clicking yes or no. Uh, things like whether or not you're going to have a logo on on the receipts uh, whether or not you're gonna have an invoice number in a form of a barcode printed on the receipt uh, whether you want the customer's name on the receipt customer's address customer's phone number and then uh, the last option is to decrease the horizontal printing length by a certain percentage and you do that by dragging this handle in here uh, to designate how much of a percentage you want to decrease the horizontal printing length by. Now what this is and what this means is uh, in some uh, some cases, uh, not very often, uh, we see uh, printers that uh, print, let's say, uh, to a receipt paper, printer paper, that is three inches wide, for example. Uh, however, uh, the the software cannot count on having the entire uh, width of three inches for printing because these printers sometimes are not capable of printing exactly to the edge uh, of the paper or that depends on the printer technology the printer head or sometimes some sort of a margin is set in the drivers and the printers drivers where you know it has to take off a little bit of space from each side horizontally of course and uh, for out of those two reasons you may uh, see some cutoff from the text some small portion of the text missing on the edges of the paper and in order to improve that uh, you just have to decrease the horizontal printing length that the software thinks has available for printing and that will fix and properly cal calibrate this issue in the end of course we hit submit changes for the changes to take effect Now in the regional standards and settings uh, window, you select things that, are, that have more to do with the currency and uh, your um, currency system in your region, like uh, the tax format. Of course, you can have a single tax or you can have two taxes uh, that are different uh, for your region. Let's say if you have two taxes, you can also name them differently. Let's say one will be um, state tax you can of course name them whatever you like or whatever the regulation is locally to you the other one let's say it's uh, federal tax and we'll just go back to a single tax for now and simply call it tax just to stick with our own regions um, 
rules. Um, the next uh, option is text insertion. This has to do with the method of inserting the text. Um, in here in USA uh, we have a rule where the taxes are added at the end of the sale after the sale is totaled um, and um, definitely that's the US method. Uh, however, a lot of countries in, in places like Europe, Australia, Asia, they have what they call a VAT, GST, PST tax. These are taxes that are pre-included into the prices before you bring them to the register, before they're totaled up. Uh, like when you see the product on the shelf, the price tag includes already the tax. And uh, those folks will be using this option. Now, uh, why is this important? To some it may just sound trivial. Uh, it may come up with a different total in the end, even if we're talking about taxing it with the same percentage. Uh, whether you tax before you total up all the prices or the taxes are included with every, with every piece of every price and then you total, that makes a big difference when because of rounding off decimals. Whether you're going to round off the decimals with the taxes pre-included or you're going to round off the decimals as you're adding and then add the taxes that will make may make a few cents of a difference here and there so that's very important for you to get it right and do it according to your country's uh, standards and rules the next option is currency selection uh, in here we try to include all of the currencies of the world and we th think we have them all so far we haven't heard any complaints uh, in saying anything different however if by any chance you don't find your country's currency in here you can simply add it by clicking this button that says add a currency and it will just ask you two questions like what's the name of that currency and what would you like the sign for that currency to be that sign that is added next to the number to the digits and you will have your own currency created like that the last option in here is regarding the decimal places of the currency. Now in R, in the dollar standard, we have uh, two, two decimal places after the decimal point and that's why this is our default uh, selected option. However, uh, there's some uh, countries, some folks that have three decimal places after the decimal point for their currency and they'll be using this option in here. For now, I'll just switch it back to our system and in the end of course click submit changes for the changes take effect 